welcome to another All Things Tennis YouTube video. Today we're going to be tackling the big question as in strings. What strings should I be using? What are the different types of strings? And hopefully by the end of the video you'll know all things strings. So the first string we're going to look at is a basic synthetic gut. This is head synthetic gut PPS which is very similar to like a Prince Duroflex which has been the gold standard synthetic gut for as long as I can remember. Okay, they're designed to be powerful and very soft strings, okay? They're probably the string that's gonna come in your racket when it's factory strung most of the time. So they move around in the frame, they fray a little bit, and they're gonna not last that long. If you're a top spin player looking to generate lots of spin from your string, this isn't the string for you. However, if you prefer a traditional feeling string, it gives you a little bit of power, and it's a soft feeling string, good for tennis elbow, at a good price, that's synthetic gut. For me, there's a better string than synthetic. All the things that synthetic gut does, there's a better version of that, and that is a multi-filament. So we've talked about synthetic gut. As I said, multi-filament, which is like this one here, Solinco Vanquish, a premium grade multi-filament. They, for me, do everything a synthetic gut does, but just better. You get that feel, you get that power, it's very soft on your arm. But multi-filament is basically a premium grade, better version of synthetic gut. So instead of having that core, which synthetic gut has with the wraps around it, this is just lots of intertwined fibers, okay? If I can get it out, I can show you. So, a multi-filament is even softer. It's super malleable. It's supposed to be the closest string to natural gut, that feel of a super soft, powerful string that's really good on your joints. So, when would you use multi-filament? So, if you're a top swing player looking for a little bit more feel, you might use this as a cross and a hybrid. Okay, so a hybrid is where you have two different strings in a racket. Okay, otherwise, if you're a player that's maybe suffered from tennis elbow before, or you like using touch and volleys, you're not really a big baseline grinder, looking at a top spin, multi is perfect for power and touch. Much more feel and touch than a polyester string. Okay, Solinco Vanquish, Babylon XL, Head Velocity, Head Reflex, Technifiber X1 Biophase, all top of the range multi filaments that we do here at All Things Tennis. We can either do them in a hybrid or we can do them in a full bed. What are the downsides to a multi filament string? Okay, so because it's so soft, it's going to fray. Don't be afraid when the string starts fraying after a week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on how much you play. Okay, it's going to fray and it's going to play very, very much the same until it breaks. So you might have a little strand left on the string, it's still going to play pretty similar. Okay, until it breaks. The better at holding tension maintenance and poly, so that's a positive, but the downside is really durability. If you're a player that gets through polyester strings, you're going to rip through multifilament very quickly. So if you're ever breaking strings, you know, fairly regularly, this is going to break on you, okay? It's not a string that's going to last months and months and months in my eyes. It's a string though that at least you know it's great for your joints, and when it breaks, you can get it really strong. Polyester might not ever break on you, but you could be playing with a really dead feeling polyester, not good for your joints, and that's a downside. But you might be cutting out your strings before they break by using a poly. So let's talk about polys. Head links, okay? Head links is a very soft poly. So what we're we talking about when we say soft poly, so when polyesters first came out, a first generation poly would have been like a Babylon Pro Hurricane Tour or something like that. Very stiff feeling polyesters, okay, that were designed really just to be the best at durability. That's what the polyester was for. It was for players that were getting through strings very quickly. If you've ever read Andre Agassi's um, open biography, autobiography, he talks about when polys first came on, he thought it was a game changer, he thought they'd be outlawed. And why is that? Because they give so much more spin and so much more control than a multi-filament or a synthetic gut. Because they're a stiffer feeling material, they grip hold of the ball and they're not giving you that same power. You don't get that same ball pocketing as you would be with a multi or a synthetic gut. You're getting a controlled element of it. You're not straightening the strings. The idea of how a string creates spin is its ability to snap back. So polyester is designed to be able to, you know, if you're looking at racket slow motion, the strings bend as you're hitting the ball and then they're snapping back into position which creates that spin. Polyesters are designed to do that very, very well while also being durable. So they're probably, I'd say, the most popular string to use these days. Links um, and a string like 
Sonic Pro from Head is quite soft. Selenko do Hyper G Soft, Talk Back Soft, etc. They're good for if you've got teenagers, maybe your parent, and you're looking to get your kid onto a poly, or your player yourself wanting to look after your joints while using a poly. It's a good place to start. They're not going to give you the same spin as a stiffer poly, which we'll come to in a minute, but they're soft on the joints and they're kind of that middle road between being a very stiff poly, getting lots of spin by, and you know, a multi filament where you're not really getting that same spin. This is in the middle. So it's a nice string, okay, your head links. So now we're gonna talk about a stiffer polyester. Now everyone's got their own ideas on what strings are stiff, etc., etc. or I use this and it's not stiff, or you know, tension makes a massive difference. You're stringing any string, any polyester string, over 55, you know, closer to 60, it's gonna feel stiff, especially in a denser string pattern racket. Now, Hypergee, I love this string, I love playing with it. You get so much control and grip, and it also power, to be fair, because it's a square shape. Square strings for me seem to be the best in terms of the shaped polys, in terms of power generation. So a Technify the Blackford 4S or your Hypergees or a Tall Bite from Zelenko. This feels stiff, okay? So if you're a player that needs durability and you, you know, you've got good technique, you feel the ball well, long, quick swings, this is gonna feel like night and day to you than a synthetic gut like factory strings. You get so much more spin, more grip on the ball, you're able to really go for your shots and the ball diving into court. So it's a really amazing string. Just be careful with polyesters, don't string them close to 60. You have a recommended tension on a racket, so you know, recommended normally is around 55, which we do, which is okay. I think lots of players use 55 even with poly, but you can go down to 40s. It's not something to be afraid of with polyester. But polyester at 48 is gonna still have more control for me than a multi at 53, 54, 55. That's the level of difference between the strings. It's a stiffer string. It's not gonna bend, you know. It's, it, when we talked about how the multi-filaments bend and they're soft, these strings, you're not gonna straighten them when they're in the racket, they stay very still. Stay in your racket for a long time, they're durable. Please don't, however, keep this rack string in your racket for four or five months and think, oh, they last for ages. It will go dead and it's gonna be even worse for your arm. Think of, um, you know the little springs you used to get in pens? Little coiled spring? If you think about this string in the first place, isn't very flexible, but it has a little bit of give to it, it's a bit of flexibility. As you're using that string, imagine pulling out a coil, it's not gonna go back to that same position. Your polyester might move slightly in the racket, and that's when it becomes dead, okay? It's even though it's losing tension and maybe feeling a bit soft in terms of the pockets more, it's dead, it's not as good for your joints, please cut it out or get a restring. Okay, so if you're looking for the most amount of spin, in terms of the feeling of the string giving you that lots of bite and lots of spin, top spin generation. What you can do is go for a shaped poly in the mains, so maybe a 1.25, 17 gauge of this stuff, okay? And then add a smooth round cross in a thin gauge in the crosses. So you're hybriding two polyesters, a shaped main and a smooth cross. When I was talking about how you generate spin with strings, it's about having that snap back ability, as it were. So you need low friction, low coefficient friction between the mains and the crosses to do that. Polys do that well, but if you're gonna mix two polys and go for the ultimate spin, go for a 17 gauge shaped poly and go for a thin 18, 19 gauge round poly in the crosses. And that for me, in trialing, that gives you the best spin. So, another string that's recently come to market. This is, for me, similar to like a Technifiber Triax, Fabulat's new one's called RPM Soft, okay? So, very popular string, RPM Blast, don't get those two confused. RPM Blast is a stiff polyester, eight-sided, great for spin, used by a lot of players, gives you power, control, Nadal uses it, etc. This RPM Soft is supposed to be a hybrid between a multi-filament and a polyester. So it's actually a bit of both. So, See, it's got that natural give, again, similar to a multi that we talked about before. It's a softer feeling string, however, it's strengthened in the sense it has polyester within the string, within the makeup of the string, so it's gonna last longer. It's not gonna go as quick as a multi. This is really, when you string a hybrid, so if I had polyester in the mains, hybrid in the cross, multi-filament in the cross, or synthetic, this is what it really emulates. So this is my go-to string for young, 
teenagers, 12, 13, 14. There's no need to get them on full poly at you know, that sort of age. They still need a little bit of power, they're still growing physically, so this is a really nice string which is going to be not more durable for your parents when you're constantly shelling out money to people like us to restring their rackets. It's going to be more durable, but it protects joints, okay? So if you're using a multi and it's breaking for you too easily, go for something like this, RPM Soft or a Triax or something like that. It's a brand new string out in the market. This for us only came in back end of 2021. Triax has been out for a little bit longer and it was kind of revolutionary when it came out as a hybrid of between a multi-filament and poly. So new string to look out for, give it a try. You know, I found when I was playing with it, not obviously the quite the same spin as a poly, but you've got a lot more control than just a standard multi and durability was hands down better than a standard multi-filament. Okay, one thing we need to touch on as well is you could pick up one of these sets, okay, and it will be a gauge 16. What does that mean? Well, gauge 16 is 1.30 millimeters, so it's normally a durability element when you get 16. If you're using a shaped poly or a string that you're not breaking, okay, that's a polyester, try to go up in the gauge. So what that means is 17, 18, 19 means it's thinner, okay? So a 17 gauge is normally 1.25, you're normally going down 0.5 millimeters at a time, okay? So I use, for example, Torbite or Hypergene you can go down to 115, 120 in the gauges, so it's like 18 gauge, 19 gauge. If you're not breaking the strings that quickly, the thinner gauge adds more flexibility to the string, so poly, you want it to be a bit more flexible sometimes. The higher, the thinner gauges is gonna allow a bit more flexibility. You get a bit more feel, power, I think, from that thinner gauge. So one thing to bear in mind, you might have used RPM Blast for the last five years, 130, 150, uh, 125, and think, I'm not really breaking the strings, they go dead, etc. Try try one set of a thinner gauge, and I guarantee you'll feel the difference. So we've touched on pretty much all the strings, okay? People are gonna say, oh, you missed out Kevlar. Please don't ever use Kevlar. It's so stiff and horrible. It will last forever, but it's not a tennis string. Natural gut, okay? The reason I didn't much mention natural gut is it's normally outside people's price range. If you're on the tour, you know, and you've got lots of rackets and being strung for you very cheaply or you're sponsored by certain brands, natural gut is still gonna be the be all and end all of that multi-feel, soft feeling, etc. So Babalat VS gut is the best uh, natural gut, okay? But in terms of the strings that are most wildly, um, widely used at the moment, you're talking multi-filament, better than a synthetic gut. The only benefit of synthet synthetic gut is the price over multi-filament, okay? If you can spend the money, go for multi-filament if you're looking for a soft string with power and comfort. Polyesters, as I said, they're softer polys, so they're normally round, like a softer poly is normally round. Stiffer polys are normally shaped polys, so RPM Blast. Slinker Hypergene, that square. RPM Blast is eight sided, Pro Hurricane Tour used to be six sided, etc. Okay? Softer polys tend to be round like a head links. In essence, if you're looking for the best thing out of poly, so spin and control, then go for a stiffer poly like a Hypergene or, you know, Luxlon Alu Power is a stiffer, kind of more first generation poly, but you get so much spin and control with that sort of polyester. Um, just be careful on your joints. Feel free to string at 52, below that you're still going to have control and you're going to look after your joints. So a lot to take in, um, people might pick up a racket and never change from factory strings. You're buying a racket to be the, you know, get the best out of your game and that really should encompass looking what, in, what is in the string bed. Strings make a massive difference, okay? As I said, the different types of string, like polyester creates 38% more shot than a multi-filament. That's gonna feel completely different. You're gonna get more grip. Try out different strings. Doesn't mean to say you've gotta try everything on the market at every different tension, but start the journey in terms of working with different strings, what's best for your game, and making sure, you know, if you've ever had tennis elbow, please ask your coach, your stringer, what's in my racket? You know, what could I do? Could I go down in tension, try a multi-filament? Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you're a little bit more clued up on strings now. Please give us a like and subscribe to the channel and help us give more videos like this to you. Thanks a lot.